Hello everyone, welcome you all in this channel. Today I will demonstrate how to use scientific calculator for finding the approximation using the Newton Raphson method. So for this I am using the Casio scientific calculator and the model of the calculator is FX991MS second edition. So what is the Newton Raphson method? First we can summarize this Newton Raphson method in three steps. So in step one take initial approximation suppose x0 then find the value of function at x0 and the first derivative at x0 and the last compute the next approximation using the Newton Raphson formula that is x1 equals to x0 minus fx0 by f dash x0. So Suppose we have a function fx equals to x square minus 5x plus 2 and we want to find the approximation using the Newton Raphson method for this function. So let us start how to do using the calculator. So first of all on the calculator. So you should always have a habit to erase the memory first. So for erasing the memory just press the shift then mod. Now press the 3 then 2 times equal sign 1 then 2. Now the memory is reset. Now we have the function fx equals to x square minus 5x plus 2. So our first step is take initial approximation say x0. So we would like to find the value of the function at two different values of x and check whether the values are negative or positive. So let us suppose we are first typing this function in the calculator then we will find the value of this function at two different values of x. So for typing this you first press the alpha then x and here is the x square so press the x square then minus 5 and for x you need again to press alpha then this closing bracket so x square minus 5x then plus 2 so this is our function so first we would like to find the value of this function let us suppose we are putting x equals to 0 so for finding the value of this function at x equals to 0 you need to press the calculation button and it is asking the value of x and you are giving suppose value 0 0 then press equal so what is the value of the function that is the 2 so we will write here f0 equals to 2 now we will again press the calculation and put the value 1 and press the equal sign now the value of the function is basically minus 2 so the next value is the f1 equals to minus 2. So the function is having positive value at x equals to 0 and negative value at f equals to sorry x equals to 1. That means root will exist between 0 and 1. So our initial approximation that is the x0 will be suppose 0. So this will be the our initial approximation okay now now we will use the newton raphson method for finding the next approximation from this initial approximation that is x not equals to 0 and suppose you would like to have the four digits after the decimal so for this you first need to uh, fix the number of digits after decimal. So there is a certain procedure for that. So let us first see how to fix the decimal number. So first clear this. You can see this very carefully how to fix the number of digits after the decimal. So for this you need to press the mode button one time, two time, three time four time then five time 
five times you need to press the mode button now there are three options the first option is the fix so you will press the one here it will ask how many digits you would like after the decimal point suppose we want four digits after the decimal so press four here it will now fixed all your roots will come or round off up to the four digits so now it is set again press the zero now we will feed the formula here so formula is basically the x0 minus fx0 by f dash x0 so what will be the formula now i will write here so x1 equals to x0 minus that is x square minus 5x plus 2 upon the first derivative of the function is 2x minus 5 so this is the formula you put the x naught x naught x naught so this is the newton epsilon formula now we will type this formula in our calculator and find the roots so first you need to type x for that alpha then x minus then break it x naught square so alpha bracket x square minus 5 alpha x plus 2 then close the bracket now press the division sign again starting parenthesis and type 2 then alpha x minus 5 and close the bracket so we have typed this formula in our calculator now press the calculation button so it will ask the value of the x so our the initial approximation is the 0 so we will put the value 0 here 0 and press the equal sign so our first approximation is basically come 4 point sorry 0 0.400 so first one that is x1 equals to 0 0.400 you noticed one thing here ki, that you are getting four digits after the decimal so we have already fixed these four digits you can change these digits you can fix up to three digits you can fix up to the five digits so this is our first approximation for finding the next value again press the calculation and give this value here so point four zero 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 then equal and you got the next root that is a point four three eight one so our next approximation x2 equals to zero point four three eight one so this is the second approximation again press the calculation and type the value point four three eight one now press the equal sign you got the third approximation that is x3 equals to 0 0.4384 0 0.4384 and we will go for again for the next approximation so press the calculation sign put the value 0.4384 again press the equal sign and the root is again the x4 is basically 0 0.4384 so you are watching that the last two approximations are equal up to the four digit after the decimal point so this is your approximation or the root of the function x square minus 5x plus 2 we can use a short trick to check whether we got the correct root or not so for that you again press the clear button so our function is cleared now now again type 
your function. So our function is x square minus 5x plus 2. So first place alpha, then x square minus 5 alpha x plus 2. So this was the function we have used. So if you want to check we got the correct root or not, then you need to press the shift then calculation two times. First shift then calculation, again shift then calculation. If you press these two buttons two times, you will get the direct root of the function. So you can use this trick anywhere for finding the root of any equation. So let's see. First I am pressing the shift, then calculation, then shift, then calculation. And the root is 0 0.4384. And we have also got these root by using the Newton Raphson method. So this, this way you can verify the whether you got the root correct or not. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you will apply the short trick for finding the root of any equation. So please like and subscribe this channel for such videos in future also. Thank you for watching this.